Tom Brady has officially retired from the NFL, announcing on Instagram, it's over. His playing days have come to an end after 22 seasons with the New England Patriots and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady looking forward to bigger and better things, new adventures, new endeavors in his life. He wants to give his attention to his family and what a career for the GOAT. No one can match his resume. Tom Brady retiring from the NFL. I just want to take a moment real quick to kind of just react to this. Uh, I, I talked about it at the beginning of the show. I was kind of late in, in starting this live stream just because uh, I had a whole segment plan where I was going to be talking about the 49ers. I was going to be talking about Jimmy Garoppolo, his future. And then this news dropped probably 15 minutes before we go on air. And then I was like, man, we got, well, I got to I got to change everything around. So I just created a new graphics. I, I, I created, you know, whole, you know, just wrote down some notes about Tom Brady and I I don't really have this segment planned too much. So this is just pretty much reacting to everything and just me talking uh, off the top of my head. I started watching football in 2006. I remember the first game that I ever watched was a Manning versus Manning matchup, the first Sunday night football game that I've ever watched. It was the Indianapolis Colts versus the New York Giants. I was 13 years old, and this is the reason why it got me into football, this game. Because I saw commercials for it. I saw that NBC was promoting the Sunday night football thing. I was like, oh, okay. I've never been a fan of the NFL. I never watched football. But the storyline seemed pretty cool. Like, it's brothers versus each other facing off. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. So that was the very first game that I watched. It was week one of 2006. And then after that, I was hooked. I was hooked, and I watched almost every game right after that. And one of the guys that I really grew up watching was Tom Brady. And I think a lot of you guys can sympathize with this, that Tom Brady is your childhood. Like, whether you're from your, I don't know, started watching when you were seven, eight, nine years old, whatever it may be, to even grown men started watching football or started watching Tom Brady at least play when he, when you guys were 30 years old. It doesn't really matter. You kind of grew up with Tom Brady being a part of your football life. And this kind of... You know, retiring, him retiring, it, it just feels different. I know that for me, the the quarterbacks that I grew up watching and the era that I watched football was Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, Kurt Warner, um, like like a lot of good quarterbacks out there um, that I, I grew up watching. But the, for some reason, when those guys retired, it was kind of like, oh, man, like it, it's – great nostalgia to go back and watch the clips and everything and like man I'm gonna miss this guy uh Peyton Manning was was one of those guys as well for me but Tom Brady man just today it just kind of hits different just kind of hits different I know that we had a couple days to let this sink in because Adam Schefter kind of jumped the gun a little bit and uh, not to the liking of Tom Brady I think he wanted to announce that on his own terms but Adam Schefter kind of uh eased the crowd eased the people into knowing that Tom Brady is going to be retiring soon and he was correct, uh, and Tom Brady officially has been retiring or has announced his retirement here today. Uh, you know, I want to go ahead and hear what you guys feel about Tom Brady in the comment section down below. Like, definitely leave your thoughts on, like, you know, hey, what's your favorite Tom Brady memory? What, what are your thoughts on Tom Brady retiring? Uh, even if you want to get more on, like, an analytical standpoint and just be like, all right, Tom Brady gone. Let's look to the future. What are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to be doing? Yeah, definitely leave your thoughts in your comments down below. Because um, I, I would love to definitely reminisce and, and hear your uh, favorite Tom Brady memories. I had the privilege of saying, okay, Tom Brady, I got to watch history being made. I got to see him win his third Super Bowl, his fourth Super Bowl, his fifth Super Bowl, his sixth Super Bowl, his seventh Super Bowl. I got to see all of that happen. And uh, seeing him play Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl, it, it was one of those things where many people were like, man, I don't want to see this happen again. I don't want to see the Patriots. I don't want to see Tom Brady make it to the Super Bowl again. I want a refresher. I want something new. Uh, whereas I was like, yeah, it'd be cool to see like a new fan base win, like a new team win. But also at the same time, like if Tom Brady makes it to the Super Bowl, I'm a guy that appreciates history. I know that this isn't going to last forever, and I want to see it happen. The only time that I saw or I kind of – was hoping that history didn't happen was uh, when he went to the Super Bowl in 2007 against the New York Giants. The New York Giants, like I mentioned, that was the first game that I ever watched. Uh, I saw Eli Manning play. I saw the Giants and Eli Manning be this whole underdog story uh, in, in 2007 going up against the 
undefeated 16-0 New England Patriots, I thought to myself, man, it would be a, such a cool story if the Giants were to uh, pick up this upset and nobody believed in them and, and, and everything. So, like, that was the only time I kind of rooted against Brady uh, to see that happen. But, yeah, seriously, leave your thoughts here in comments. I'd love to interact with the guys in the comment section of this video. But Tom Brady, he's done. He's done. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what's the future hold? I don't know. They could be traded for a quarterback. If Aaron Rodgers comes, they're going to pick up right where they left off. Uh, they have a lot of faith in Blaine Gabbert taking over as a bridge quarterback. They've said this before. They're okay with Blaine Gabbert. But if they want to make a big splash move, there's a few quarterbacks out there on the market that I think the Buccaneers would be trying to make a push for. Uh, but yeah, Tom Brady, gone from the NFL. It's over. The end of an era.